get over it. To apologize is to say you're sorry for something you did. But regret is a negative feeling that makes us think we are to blame for something bad that happened. Narcissists can't accept blame. Even if they are at fault, they can't take responsibility. To blame others and let them deal with their own unpleasant emotions is easy when someone lacks empathy since they lack the capacity to experience what someone else is feeling. Because narcissists lack empathy and purposefully avoid experiencing feelings of guilt, you will never receive an apology from a narcissist that involves them accepting any responsibility for their conduct. Therefore, stop trying to beat a narcissist on their own game. There's no chance for us to win. So, today I'm walking you through several ways to beat narcissists for good without hurting yourself. First though, I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. It would be greatly appreciated if you could help this channel grow by sharing this video with any of your acquaintances, relatives or loved ones. And if this is your first time here, we ask that you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of the upcoming updates in the future. I appreciate your support. Let's begin. First thing first, forcing, attempting or encouraging the narcissist to change is futile. Instead, focus on improving yourself, healing and expanding your circle of friends. Those of us who have not sought treatment for our codependency or are in the early stages of recovery might become too dependent on others, which harms us greatly. Running around and attempting to control things we have no right to influence, such as how others perceive us, what happens, and how things turn out, makes us sick. By now, the narcissist would have seriously tried to alter their behaviour if it were their intentions. Regain control of your life by deciding to do whatever it takes to be the best version of yourself possible. The narcissist doesn't matter. Only you have the power to alter your circumstances, so go to work. The sooner you stop focusing on the narcissist and start working on yourself, the better your life will be. Being your best self and living your best life is simply the best way to drive out a narcissist. Number two, taking a break from the battle. When dealing with narcissists, avoiding them is the only way to win. Other than that, it's a waste of effort. Why? Because you can't win when you're dealing with these individuals. So do yourself a favor and leave the strife, the conflict, and the never-ending battle of wills. Let them think they won by giving them the final word. Your critical life force energy and the rest of your well-being are saved if you walk away. In both the short and long term, you are victorious. Ignore the opinions of toxic individuals like the narcissist and their toxic friends. Number three, if you try to talk to a narcissist about what you need, you'll only make things worse. You'd better get ready because I'm about to tell you all the harsh truth. The narcissist doesn't care about you so we should move on because they only care about themselves. They don't care about what you think, feel, or need, even if it's healthy and reasonable. No matter how hard it is to accept, that is the truth. Take care of yourself however you think is best. You can't get what you want from a narcissist. So, stop expecting other people to meet your needs and start taking care of yourself. You'll be able to stop needing the narcissist and be yourself again, free from the narcissist's control. You need to do this right if you want to find healthy, caring and mutually healthy relationships. The first step toward healing from a codependent relationship is realizing that you are no longer tied to it and are free to make healthy adult relationships. It's yours to keep and you've earned it. Number four. Learn to defend yourself emotionally and energetically. To avoid the projections of narcissists, you need to develop skills for emotional insulation and spiritual discipline. You can keep them from doing so when they want to come along and press a button for their amusement. 
If you want to defeat a narcissist with confidence and elegance, you'll need to take excellent care of your well-being. To make the most of them, you must use them daily and cultivate healthy habits and routines that benefit you. It's difficult to overcome a narcissist's confidence and sense of style if we aren't used to taking care of ourselves. It's understandable that we're having difficulties in this area, given how long we've been singled out for blame. When you wake up the next morning, you have complete control over your destiny. You need to take care of yourself first. You are the only one who has to do it. Let me know if you plan to implement any of these modifications in the future by leaving a comment below. 5. You shouldn't feel sorry for the narcissist. People who like narcissists are more likely to believe their lies and nonsense, which aren't even theirs. Worst of all, they won't share your feelings, which will make you feel betrayed, helpless, and defeated. Empaths may pick up on other people's bad feelings and low vibrational frequencies, even if they don't have those things themselves. For people with a lot of empathy, the hassle of a hangover is not worth the risk. Instead, be kind to the narcissist from afar and save your empathy for yourself and kind, loving people. 6. Get in touch with individuals you can trust. A strong support system is essential to overcoming a narcissist with confidence and grace. As we must first heal from the abuse, it's your responsibility to acquire that if you don't currently have it. Finding people with whom you can confide and open up about your concerns is critical. For example, this person could be an expert in the field or a trusted friend, family member or relative. It doesn't imply, however, that we treat these folks as garbage cans and repeatedly dump our negative feelings and burdens on them. On the contrary, you'll have a place to go when you want to be heard and accepted. I can say that there is no self-healing from narcissistic abuse. You need a good support system. We'd all benefit from having a confidant with whom to share our worries. This is why you need to find a group of individuals who can help you meet your emotional needs so that you are less likely to try to meet these needs from people who aren't trustworthy or who might harm you if they know about them. Remember that you are responsible for your health and well-being, so find healthy ways to meet your demands. To accomplish this, we rely heavily on establishing and maintaining a solid support system throughout time. That's all I have for today. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you find this video informative. Please share your experience if you've ever been in a relationship with a narcissist in the comments section below. For future videos, consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell icon below the video. Thank you. Exposing how the narcissist uses their tricks to control the one they love. Welcome to this week's episode of Narcissist Exposed. Thank you for clicking this video. Today, I want to talk about one of the most physically and emotionally demanding games a narcissist can play and one of the most time-consuming. But first, I'd like to send you an invitation to contribute to the growth of this channel by forwarding this video to any of your friends or family members. The purpose of narcissistic games is to lure us into believing their lies and trap us in their web of deception which is why we have to be aware of the games narcissists play. As long as you're with a narcissist, you're unlikely to hear or get anything good from them, except during the love-bombing phase. They also can never praise your achievements and even take them all for granted. Although they initially admire your physical beauty and accomplishments and seem to respect and admire these qualities in you, it's all just superficial. They will compliment your appearance and achievements only to gain your trust. Narcissists are the most miserable people on earth because narcissists don't want to feel stupid, unworthy or wrong. They make sure nothing can go wrong in their plan. Even though they know they're deceiving people, they still lie to achieve their goals. Therefore, they rarely achieve anything noteworthy enough to be considered a long-term achievement. What about when they make you question your identity? 
They make you feel guilty and ashamed for no reason. How many times have they done this to you? How many times have they publicly humiliated you in front of your friends and family? Do you remember when they disrespected you and made you feel bad and just wanted to find them and ask them what the hell you did wrong so you could put things right? Remember how you and your narcissistic partner are inseparable and how they make you feel like you're the center of their world. Narcissists try to impose power and influence on others in their immediate environment. The more people they can manage, the more efficient they will be. As a result, narcissists employ many strategies to keep their pantries well stocked. Making false promises and shaping the future are two ways they achieve this. Why is this so harmful? That's precisely the message I want to convey and the background to why narcissists behave the way they do. To maintain motivation and hope, it's crucial to have a long-term goal or desire. The narcissist also wants to hear about your plans and objectives, and they will make sure everything is working. Narcissists, on the other hand, never want to know what you want in life and how they can help you get it. Such people are only obsessed with their importance. They will do everything they can to convince you that not only your dreams are impossible, but also make sure that they never come true. This is one of the most distorting aspects of the situation. To prevent your dreams from coming true, the narcissist needs to be able to take control of your plans and objectives and control events and people. Narcissists want you to make an emotional investment in them. And what better way to do that than to get involved in your future? As an added attraction, your goals seem to be supported and established by others. Making a plan with a narcissist can lead to disappointment if you don't accept the fact that you will be the only one working towards your goals and desires. When narcissists want you to make plans with them or do things for them, the word weed is their favorite because it makes them feel important. The narcissist will convince you that they care about your aspirations and dreams, however, your plans are never on their list, and they already have their set of plans in motion. A narcissist is only good at lip service. They'd brag about how much support you'd get from them. If they were there, they'd offer words of encouragement and support. It's not uncommon for them to do nothing unless explicitly asked to or instructed to do so. They would also try to convince you that their actions will help you achieve your long-term goals and desires. The narcissist, on the other hand, doesn't believe in or care about our hopes and dreams. They're only after power to exploit, abuse and use us. Our well-being is not a concern of theirs. They don't give a rat's behind if our dreams come true or not. They are, however, eager to engage in dialogue with us to persuade us that they're on our side. They would entice us into making plans with them, just to disappoint us at every opportunity. If you have narcissistic family members, friends, or a love partner, you should also expect to be poorly treated by them. Dreams give us reason to hope, and narcissists know that if they can become a part of our dreams, we will become dependent on them or believe that we can't achieve our goals without their help. The risk of mistakenly putting one's hopes and aspirations in the hands of the narcissist is high because this is the place where other people's hopes and dreams die. The promises and plans they made with us, despite the pain and disappointment they caused, encourage us to believe that there's still hope, encourage us to believe that there's still hope, or that it's worthwhile to put up with their behavior for the sake of a brighter future. The narcissist reaps the benefits of this arrangement since it works in their favor. Because the narcissist has no intention of helping you achieve your dreams, they will fabricate everything they say to you. There is no hope that they will provide you with the bright and cheerful future you envisioned for your life. The narcissist will only engage in activities that benefit them, and your dreams will never come true unless you can discover how they'll benefit from your accomplishments without putting in any effort on their part. Narcissists play cruel games like pretending to care about other people's hopes and dreams, 
making empty promises about the future and showing genuine desire to see those hopes and dreams come true. They obliterate not only your present but your future as well. When we continue to believe that the narcissist cares about us, we're wasting time that we will never be able to return. The stress of putting up with the narcissist's lies, abuse and disappointments wears us down physically and mentally over time. The consequences can be devastating for those who have confided in narcissists and remain in a relationship with them. Many of us have been victimized before by a narcissist and the most efficient way to protect yourself from being victimized again is to avoid building close ties with them. Once you've realized that a person has narcissistic tendencies, you should never confide in them again. Please don't reveal any of your ideas, dreams or secrets to them. It would be best if you protected your goals and plans for the future to yourself, as they'll most definitely steal your ideas and accomplishments. That's all there is to say about today's video. If you find this video useful, please share it in any manner you can and don't forget to click the like button below. Consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of our subsequent videos. Thank you. Your attention and time are much appreciated as always. Thank you very much. Exposing why the narcissist treats everyone else better, but not to you. Thank you for joining us this week for the latest episode of the Narcissist Exposed channel. Let's begin. Narcissists will do all their power to undermine your happiness by surrounding you with negativity and attempting to bring you down. Narcissists don't care about your troubles but your accomplishments, and they'll do everything they can to keep in touch with you if you're successful. Anything the narcissist does to aid you isn't done out of genuine concern. Instead, they expect double if not three times as much in return. Narcissists will think they're entitled to your hard-earned success and they won't care much about the time, effort, commitment and sacrifices that you made to get to that point. Narcissists care nothing about any of it. What you can offer them is all that matters, which is their goal the entire time, and they'll do anything to get their hands on it regardless of the effort you put in to get there. Narcissists will try to claim credit for your accomplishment or feel responsible for your success, even if they're only doing the smallest amount of necessary work. Using and abusing others is pleasurable for narcissists because life is nothing more than a game to them. It's like the narcissist is playing Monopoly and sees your victories and accomplishments as an opportunity to pull all the money into their pocket. When a covert narcissist is in their safe zone, be it their home or whatever it's that they call turf, they tend to get easily bored and irritated. And the worst is that they will spread all the negativity to everyone around them. However, this irritation is reserved for a few people only, and it shows itself most dramatically when they're alone. In this section, I'll explain the two main reasons why this happens. But before that, I'd like to express my gratitude for everyone who watched this video till this point. I'd like to send you an invitation to contribute to the growth of this channel by forwarding this video to any of your friends or family members. And if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell so you'd be notified when there's a new vide uploaded. For example, when the narcissist is living under the same roof as you, you may often notice them being impatient, disrespectful, and dismissive, but then they have a completely different demeanor when they walk out of the room. It's because once the covert narcissist leaves their house, everything they do after that is a performance of them being the ideal person in every way possible. These people are more welcoming to newcomers because they go out of their way to make eye contact and smile. And why is that? Covert narcissists only care about making an impression on those who don't know them well enough to see their true nature. To the outside world, they're only known by the fake personas they have created for themselves. But when you live with them, you'll see all the good, bad, and ugly aspects of their character. 
Seeing a part of them that others don't get to see is considered a good thing for you because they'll put down their efforts and let the mask slide or fall while they're around you. On the other hand, they think it's an honor for you to see this side of them. You get the condescending eyes, the angry expressions, the outbursts, the silence treatments, and simply a lot of unpleasant sentiments, all of which give you the idea that you're undesirable, unwanted, and hated. The good thing is that now you know everything about them, but also because of that, they think they can do whatever it is that they want to you. The covert narcissist demeans and abuses people closest to them, generally their partners and children. They may, however, treat others in a demeaning or abusive manner, although this is rare. To the best extent possible, the narcissist's generosity is shared by everyone else, except a very few people who are close to them. In actuality, a narcissist doesn't even have these charming attributes, but they make it look like that in front of everyone else. Their feigned sincerity and ambiguous words match their dishonesty. They're hurting those they claim to care about more than anyone else. They treat you harshly when no one's around, but they'll respect you to the highest degree of respect when you're together in public. A narcissist's view of the world is distorted. The fact that they loathe everyone is clear, because narcissists will damage those they can hurt, and they'll insult and humiliate those they can't hurt behind their backs. It's not an easy chore to cope with a covert narcissist as a sibling, parent, kid or spouse. Because their negativity and inconsistencies can cause someone to feel scared and emotionally unstable. Because of these conditions, you may be constantly afraid of what they may do next. Because the covert narcissist is always striving to satisfy everyone else but you, it's a hard pill to chew. With everyone else, they're prepared to be patient, but not with you. Not only that, but their smile is probably directed elsewhere. And if you press them for an explanation, they'd either deny it or point the finger of blame at you for how they treat you. Their gaslight will make you believe that everything is your overthinking things and that you should stop putting yourself through unnecessary worries. To convince a narcissist to take responsibility for their bad behavior is pointless. Still, it takes a lot of mental and physical energy for them to maintain this act of being an upstanding individual every day also contributes to the covert narcissist's mood swings. As a result, they must constantly feign their responses to dissent and confrontation while in public. Even if they were screaming inside, they would put on a brave face and act like they were reasonable, forgiving, and tranquil. Their day-long facade cracks as soon as they enter through their front door, allowing the unpleasant emotions they'd been suppressing to come to the surface suddenly. Things they'd like to say or do in public are reserved strictly for a private time at home. And in the end, they retaliate against those closest to them for deeds they did not commit. Being able to manipulate and take advantage of another person in one safe zone brings much needed relief for the covert narcissist. What matters most to the covert narcissist now is what those on the outside think of them and their thoughts about those they dominate have little bearing on how they live their lives. Conclusion To recap, having two completely different personalities. One for public and another for private is an undeniable sign of a covert narcissist. They treat you like a piece of trash and pretend to be in love with you while in public. They will say or do things that make you feel like the lowest of the low when no one is paying attention. Nobody should be subjected to this kind of treatment, and you deserve something much better than this. These discrepancies and mental games would be unnecessary if they cared for you. It's best if you can put some distance between yourself and someone who acts this way if you wish to regain control of your peace and happiness. That concludes today's video. If you've ever lived with a covert narcissist, please share your story in the comment section below. Your attention and time are much appreciated, as always. Consider subscribing to our channel 
and click the bell icon to be notified of our subsequent videos. Thank you. Exposing how the narcissist provokes you when you're being too powerful and threaten their existence. Because they are jealous and dissatisfied, narcissists are harmful toward others. Anyone continuously being critical of others is usually filled with deep-seated rage and jealousy because they don't see their life aspirations or ambitions manifesting. The narcissist will act as if they care about you only to learn about your intentions to achieve your life goals and then crush them like hail. Never expect a narcissist to be sincerely positive about whatever you do because they're so toxic that if the opportunity arises, they will pull the rug out from under you. Narcissists are your worst. They will disseminate your errors and brag about your accomplishments as if it's theirs. Narcissists want others to believe they're helpless victims. They want people to think that they did nothing wrong and that others were unnecessarily mean and abusive to them. This is since narcissists are notoriously dishonest. So when someone attacks a narcissist, you can bet it's in retaliation for the narcissist's abuse and manipulation. This is known as reactive abuse. In short, it's like when the actual victim is now the abuser. A narcissist actively attempts to push their target in that direction. But why? What good are narcissists doing that? Before we begin, I'd like to thank everyone who has watched this video. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could use the like button to help us out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos we'll be posting in the future. Let's begin. Okay, we'll look at how a narcissist might bother you today. They may do this in various ways, including remaining silent around us, pushing our boundaries by doing or saying things they know will irritate us, and so on. They can also be aggressive and petty at times. They could triangulate you, do something to make you envious, mock you, or try to put you down. A narcissist will go to any length to elicit a negative response from you, and they want you to be angry, insecure, unhappy, or even aggressive. They generally do things that can be easily misinterpreted. Narcissists employ their cunning skills to do and say precisely the correct number of things to avoid being implicated. Because they are always aware of what they are doing, narcissists commit acts of total insanity. After that, with some confidence, narcissists are physically and verbally aggressive to those close to them. They give off a brawl-inducing vibe. They would say and do the most annoying things to get you to reply in kind. They want you to lash out at them and curse them when they harm you. They also hope that if they damage you, you will fight back. Narcissists may use various strategies to achieve their objectives, but their goal is always the same. Narcissists may commit acts of complete insanity, but it's because they're fully aware of what they're doing at all times. They want to obtain what they wish by eliciting the worst in you. They want to eat all the negative energy you can dish out, and they'll gobble it all up. When exposed to these toxic environments, the evil that already resides in them is fed and strengthened. A wicked smile or a smug satisfaction can be seen on their face at these times. To the narcissist, the fact that they have brought you to this point gives them a sense of power and control. In addition to feeding off your negative energy, it also allows them to point the finger and make you feel guilty for something you didn't do. Their guilt-inducing behavior would make it impossible for you to recognize that they made you feel sorry in the first place. Narcissists are incredibly adept at detecting our weaknesses and generating guilt in us due to our reactions to those flaws. While they're adept at minimizing their acts, they excel in exaggerating the impact of those on others. And if you're not aware of their tricks, they'll push you to take responsibility for everything, including how you behave to them and the pain they caused you. While the narcissist plays the victim card, you're the only one apologizing and seeking to make things right. No matter how much the narcissist pushes, stopping after you have snapped 
is impossible. There will be no way to erase the memory of this event from anyone's mind once the narcissist succeeds in bringing someone to this stage. As a result, even if it never happens again, they will continue to use it against you. To make you seem like the violent crimes they are so afraid of, the people around you will tell anybody who will listen that you have a history of violence. Your reputation and credibility are in jeopardy because of the narcissist's new addition of truth to their lies. When you reply to a narcissist, it shows them that you're invested in the relationship between you and them. Whether you love or detest them, the narcissist will take advantage of your feelings and turn them against you. When it comes to the narcissist, it is all a game of provoking others and watching how they respond. That means they get to take something from you while also manipulating your emotions. When you lash out at them, they'll do all their power to make you feel bad about yourself. It also allows the narcissist to play the victim's part, possibly the most crucial benefit. As a result, it's critical to know how to deal with toxic people who sap your vitality. If we don't learn to control our emotions, the narcissist will. Narcissists will never stop hating, manipulating, lying, gossiping, and triangulating to elicit a response from us, which they will then use against us. They will also cheat and engage in other dishonest actions. We can't give them that opportunity or give them influence over us, since there is no way for us to benefit in any way from doing so. Only the narcissist benefits when we respond violently or aggressively to them. That concludes today's video. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of our subsequent videos. Thank you.